Shepard was an extremely talented biotic, and one of the most powerful fighters in the Alliance. While I didn't always agree with his decisions, I still respected them. And it was a privilege to know him. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back. We're here with Commander Shepard on the CIC of the Normandy. In our last episode, we rescued survivors on Benning that were being abducted by Cerberus. And we have another mission on our map. Oh, good, she's Commander, not. Oh, there's a new no, no. Terminal. Okay, there is a new message. Let's see. Okay, from Liara, my project. Shepard, I've been working on something I'd like to show you. Can we meet in your quarters when you have a moment? Okay. Finally, something that's not bad news. Okay, let's go here. We had a request from Garrus. All right, here we are, still in orbit of Binning. We're leaving. Let's get to a relay. Guess it's in Arcturus. There we go. All right, yeah, we we are trying to get to all these things. Look, the Reapers are just like taking over this this entire quadrant here, trying to get to these places as quickly as we can. Here, Okay, it's too late. Once it starts flashing, I guess it's too late. Once it stops. All right, so we still have this mission available. The Turian veterans. All right, let's go. I have to say, I don't remember this. All right, let's do a scan. I found something. Yeah, and look, we got Reapers right on us. What did you find, Edie? Pietus. Let's scan it. All right, lost and found. So we've got a, a milestone here. We've gotten all 10 of the lost and found. Fired 10 probes and found stuff. Got something else over here. It's probably fuel, yes. It certainly saves on having to um, spend money, credits, on this fuel. Alright, we are headed to Cestus. And we're in the Minos Wasteland. Alright, do we need to scan? Signal confirmed. Yep. All right, so here we are on the planet Invictus. All right, home to dextroamnioacid-based life. Invictus's temperature zones were settled by a Turian population that initially fell prey to a bewildering number of diseases. Two decades after its first colony was founded, its population had reduced by half due to fatalities and a large colonist Exodus. But when the Primarchs considering seeding considered seeding the planet to robo mining interest, the Turian statesman Shastina Imperus ambitiously declared that she would start her own colony and double its population within five years. This effort succeeded largely due to the colony's location in the deserts with a minimal number of pest species. The image of Shastina's triumph in the frontier made for good political theater, and the Turian population poured in. The planet's tropical belt still remains largely unexplored, as its aggressive organic life still wreaks havoc on Turian biology. A house in the Invictus jungle is a modern Turian phrase for an idea that seems like a good idea, but only to the one 
who came up with it. Invictus's atmosphere is primarily nitrogen and oxygen, and its surface crust varies, but has high concentrations of alumina and silver because it can support life easily. Criminals from throughout the Terminus systems hide out on Invictus. Its official population is estimated to be half the number of sapients that are actually on the planet. All right, there we go. Let's scan. This may be an EGM mission. Let's see what we find. Oh, here we go. Because I don't remember this at all. Criminals versus veterans, okay. All right, so I guess we found the Turian veterans. Is that it? Okay, that's... That's it, people. All right, we are headed back. All right, while well, we're here, Ari. I know this is going to be dangerous to do. Oh, no, it isn't either. No Reaper presence. Okay, so there's nothing here. All right, so Mino's Wasteland is complete. Let's get to our relay. So what else have we got? Cure the genophage. Investigate Cerberus presence. All right, let's go to the Maroon Sea and this Prothean site. I think this is going to be another uh, EGM. I found something. Mission. Let's see. What is this? Alright, so we're at the planet Farnuri. Let's begin our scan. Alright, another Avatar of Vengeance. I still don't know what those are. Alright, leaving orbit is... are we... Uh, another asset. What is this? Fuel? Okay, thank you. Yeah, this really does save on credits. All right, so we at 50%, oh, right back here. So this would be 100, what's here? Antidia, all right, let's scan it. Colonial support, nice. I'm wondering with all these extra assignments, I guess we'll say, from EGM, if it makes it easier to get your uh, galactic readiness high. Okay, now everything has stopped flashing. Okay. That's good, I guess. I still don't like all this Reaper presence, and who knows what I've missed. Alright, where is the Ismar Frontier? There's a, a mission. Look at all of these sectors here. Or clusters, whatever they are. Hades Nexus is at 66%. Let's go here something we've missed. Alright, it's 100% here. I think we went to Sheol. Hoplos, or it's it's either going to be Pamyat or Sheol. Because those two are already at 100. What have we got here? I think we're far enough away from the Reapers. Signal confirmed. Oh, hell, we're not. Look at this. Alright. Alright. What have we got here? Fuel? Okay, thank you. Alright, let's head to Sheol. Look at our 
readiness meter. They're probably here at Sheol waiting for us. There's nothing... Oh, there's a little planet there. That's it? Alright, there's nothing here. We're going. Okay, yeah, so Hades Nexus is now at 100%. Perseus Veil, the Far Rim, Phoenix Massing. What? Didn't we go to, um... What's going on here at the Maroon Sea that it's... I thought we... To look back at this video. What the heck? I thought we already went to this, but no, I guess not. Um, all right, so we're 100% here. Let's head to Vostok. All right, well, this is a safe cluster. Nothing here, all right. Matano is next. Oh, we're running out of fuel. I found something. I hope it's fuel. <laughs> we're gonna be in trouble. All right. Whoa, and a lot of it too. Nice. All right, six hundred and twenty-five units. It looks safe to scan this sector. Okay, we're done. Alright, so Maroon C is now at 100%. You know I like to try to complete these things as best I can. Alright, Kepler Verge, Styx Theta, Shadow C... Look at the Exodus cluster. 14%. And no one's there. There it is, the Ismar Frontier. Let's go. Fuel? All right. Oh, we're at 100%. Okay. Um, let's try one of these other clusters. We'll go to Faya. Oh, man. Look at these. These things are kind of far, too. There's no Reaper presence out here. I can scan it. So it looks completely barren. All right, next. We're going to run out of fuel, I bet. Lista, please have some fuel for us. Okay. 
there is no fuel out here. At least there are no reapers out here either. Alright, let's head. Can we make it to this unmarked station? I found something. Okay. Would have been nice if what you found was fuel. Alright, let's enter orbit. Advanced biotic implants. That's what the guy was looking for on the Citadel. Um, this research station sits far out in deep space, absent from star maps and away from trading routes. The build is typical Solarian, but what kind of biotic experiments that require to be so far from the nearest star system can only be imagined. Goods are delivered by automated shuttles designated to avoid contamination. The occupants refuse to answer any questions beyond the simplest of hails. All right, we've got the implants. Let's hope we can make it back. Oh yeah, we got this. All right, is Mar Frontier complete? Okay, I think we've done a pretty decent job here. I, I don't know if we want to continue to explore these sectors. I'm a little bit curious about this Exodus cluster, but it seems really dangerous to try to go in here and nothing is flashing. Let's just see. Alright, so it's 100% here, but I don't have enough fuel. Where's Asgard? How far are these things? I don't even see it. Oh, it's way out there. Alright, nope. What happened to the fuel stations? I mean, in Mass Effect 2, wherever there was a, a relay, there was fuel. Okay, well... Got a lot of stuff in the DMZ. We're gonna go back here to the Citadel and turn in our assignments. What is Dock 42? I'm gonna, yeah, let's go to the Alliance Docks. I, I don't know what to expect at Dock 42. You're clear to Dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Wow, look at all these um, choices here. Yes, I want to go to the embassies. I need to get to the embassies. Yes, Commander. And we have not seen Caden since he was released from the hospital. All right, so there was a man. Oh, he's still here. Let's see. We've got news about Benning. Tell me you have found my son. Not yet. What? Thank you for looking. Oh, well then I've got nothing for you. We rescued the few people. It was, what, two people on um, Benning? Tell me you have found my son. Not yet. Okay, well I guess we failed that mission. Um, what else have we got? Puerto Memorial. One moment. I don't know, were we supposed to talk to those people, or were there dog tags that I was supposed to find? I, I'm not sure. But whatever, that binning mission is, o mission is over. I don't think we can go back there. I believe you were looking for these prototypes. You found them? Thank you. These biotic upgrades will save a lot of Alliance lives. We'll begin production immediately. 
Here, for your trouble. Okay, plus 90 experience. Thank you. If, if only all NPCs could just dish out experience like that, video gaming would be a much better place. Alright, I think we're going to head back to the Normandy. I'm not sure there's anything else we can do. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select the destination. Yeah, let's go back to the Normandy. Well, I really don't know what to do about that man's son. And I'm pretty sure there will be no dreams, because we haven't furthered the story. All right, here we go. Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. Oh, of course. Let's see what this is. At least it's just one. Arya Talok, Shepard. What? The Reapers beat you to it? Those inmates are either dead or husks by now. If you find anyone else in the Terminus willing to support me, send them to me. Wow. Okay, well. You know, I really dislike the fact that I'm doing not that well in this game and I'm missing the, the timed things. I mean, I didn't know where I was supposed to go. It's like they need to do numbers and stuff. You know, one, two, three, go here, go there. Alright, let's invite Liara up. Um, okay. Liara, you had something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes, I'll be right up. Come on in. Thank you. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers, and how easily it could be lost again. So, I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? Your own. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> you're sure it'll last? 50,000 years is a long time for a computer to sit around. Please, I was an archaeologist. I know what I'm doing. I'm encasing these records in time capsules and seeding copies on multiple planets. And while it's not foolproof, the VI I'm installing has every translation and linguistics program I could find. So it's an information guide like Vigil on Ilos? Yes. I've been preparing it for some time. And it will be a privilege to guide the future discoverers of these records. Have you decided what you would like Dr. Tassoni to write in your entry, Commander? Hmm. I'd like her to decide. You know me well enough to fill in the blanks, Liara. Are you sure? Yeah. I'd like it to be your call. I'll start by saying Commander Shepard was born on Earth and fought harder than anyone else for his homeworld. Shepard was an extremely talented biotic and one of the most powerful fighters in the Alliance. While I didn't always agree with his decisions, I still respected them. And it was a privilege to know him. Careful this doesn't sound like a diary. I can't help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. 
So are you. You've been there for me too, Liara. No, I haven't. I wish I could have joined you back on Ilium. You made up for it. Well, I suppose I did just write your name in the stars. <laughs> All right. And that will conclude this episode. And it looks like we are going to the Krogan DMZ in our next episode. Because we may be furthering the story. This is the close of Act 1. Alright people, this is Hill! And I'm out. <laughs>